When I was a young girl, I was growing up in the Catholic Church, and I had a secret, and that was that I wanted to be an altar boy. Now, to be an altar boy in the Catholic Church doesn't work out very well if you're a girl. So I kept it inside. I kept this yearning inside to know the mystery. And when my godmother died on my 10th birthday, I was nearby and I recognized that something didn't die, that something continued. And this really um, made me much more curious. And when I went off to college, I was introduced to my first spiritual teacher, Eunice. Now Eunice confirmed that we do have a soul purpose and that the purpose of that is to find out that we are not separate. We are not separate from spirit. So this intrigued me and I went on to many different spiritual paths, including studying theology, world religions, and then living the life of a yogini in a, with a very austere physical practice. And while I was there in my third year, my first teacher, Eunice, she came to visit me. Now, before she left, she said to me, get on with it. And I didn't know what she meant. I thought I was doing all the right things and really on the right enlightenment project. <laughs> but then she left and died three days later. So I need to, needed to take what she said seriously. So I left the ashram and I went to California. And as soon as I got there, I just felt really confused. I didn't know who I was without my spiritual practice. So there I was amidst my friend's pantry floor, eating Oreo cookies, Hostess Ho-Hos, Twinkies, confused and suffering, and I realized I don't know who I am. If I want to continue in this life, I need to find out who am I. So I went to a potluck supper, and there a woman introduced me to my first satsang. And in that very first satsang, I was sitting in silence, and I heard Ramana Maharshi's teaching. And that was that you are the self. And that landed in me, and life woke up inside of me. And I realized that I wasn't separate on the inside, nor on the outside. And that the hunch I had as a child about eternal life was true. And that was 25 years ago. And even though in the foreground of my life, Many things have happened, like dark nights, major challenges. But in the background, I am this continuous life. There is something that never dies.